Hey guys, how are we doing? So it's Crypto Insight UK here, uh, back with another TA video for everybody. And we're going to dive straight into Bitcoin on the daily. It's the 29th of June 2021 at 11.38 a.m. in the UK. Um, so we look at Bitcoin on the daily. So what's been going on? Yesterday, we had a bit of a, a nothing day. The bulls and the bears couldn't decide which way they wanted the market to go. As I said, with this Wyckoff accumulation pattern, it does look like we are respecting that quite well. So we're going up, we're down, we're testing support. We're ranging inside this area. We've come down, looked at that same support again. Then we've come down, created this spring, which is a bit of a lower low. We've come down and tested just above that as a support. And now we're looking to move out of this zone and up and out onto bigger things, as some people would say. I don't know who some people are. It's probably just me. But what do we want to see happen? Well, we want to reclaim the moving averages first. Then we can start looking for some bullish momentum there. Uh, we want, when we start to see pushes like this, we want to see big green volume bars like this to help us move out of the zones. When we hit resistance, we want to see that volume come through and we really want to push up and out of each zone. So, as I keep saying, our target is to get above this 42,000. Could we do that in one day? Yes, if we get a big push. Is it likely? Not really, not at this point. Unless a hell of a lot of volume comes through and you never know it's cryptocurrency. One thing that I did find very interesting, and I've just looked at it before I came live, before I started recording on YouTube, um, is that obviously this week we had a massive, massive sell-off um, down to the 28,700 mark. But we wicked all the way back up and held above the 50-day moving average on the weekly time frame. So that's a very interesting thing to keep your eye on. We also this week have then wicked and touched the 50-day moving average and used that and tested that and confirmed it as support. And we look to have a green engulfing candle on the weekly. If we can get a weekly close above the... Let me just zoom right in. We've got tweezer, top, tweezer bottoms here really. Um, and slight tweezer tops. But if we can get a weekly close above the 35,700. Then we are looking nice. To be completely honest with you. So where's 35,700 on here? It is around this area here. So we have actually wicked up to that. That was today when we wicked up there. Um, my issue with breaking these resistance levels that we are really trying to do is that our volume is not that high. We had some great volume here. And look at that. That we broke straight through that 200 moving average with the volume. Boom. There we go. We need to see another volume stick like that out of this hourly or, or the next hourly. And we can really push up and break through these resistances. Otherwise, we could come back down and retest this 33,000 level. But personally, what do I think will happen? I think we may consolidate in this area until we get that volume come through and we push up out through these resistance zones. Then we'll have a look at Ethereum. What's been going on here? Again, it's, re it's claimed it's 200 moving average. Uh, it's tested that as support and it started to bounce off that. And we are creating an ascending wedge. Um, which does look to be finishing just as we hit a resistance level. So we'll see what happens there. Should we break up upwards out of the wedge? That's an awful line. Why do I always do that? Let's just draw it to there. Um, should we break upwards out of that wedge? Then our price target would be $2,371. And should we reject... Our price target would come back down to $2,107. But I personally think with an ascending wedge like this, we should be breaking to the upside um, and $2,300. And let's march back on with this bull run is what I'd like to see. Um, let's go and have a look at XRP, my baby, on the hourly. Again, very similar to what the other charts are showing. We've got a resistance level just slightly above our heads at the minute. We're waiting for that volume to come through and help us break through these levels. That level is 69 cents. If we can break above that 69, then we're looking at 72. Again, 72 to 78 to 84. There's a lot of resistance above us. But you know what, guys? Seeing a green day is nice to see. Um, we want... Oh, one thing actually that I do want to talk about that I haven't. We have had that bullish cross on the hourly for Bitcoin. The last time we had it was here. And what percentage gain did we make? until it crossed bearish it was a five percent but to the top it was a 14 
it's kind of a difficult indicator because we are just chopping. But when you've come down and then you start to go, when you, this is basically a sideways action. When you come down, you've been down for a while and then start to go up, it can be more um, like validated a bit more. And also the angle of which it crosses, it's kind of crossing at like a steeper angle than it was in here. Like actually where it crosses what you're looking at there, by the way, not like the angle after. So it crossed not very steeply, but here we have crossed a little bit more steeply. But anyway, same for Ethereum. Boom, straight up through the 200. We're still waiting for that confirmation on XRP. So if XRP for the hourly, the last bullish cross was here, which was a fake out. Um, didn't hold above that. But... What sort of bullish cross are we looking at? There's one there. We had a massive gain up to here, which is like, bang, we just go for when that's a 25 percenter. But if we look at the bullish cross that we had down here on the hourly, let's say at this point, because that was the last time it crossed there, bang, to there was it when it crossed bearish. That's a 230 percent gain. So how nice would it be to see a 230% gain out of this area again here with the bullish cross? Where would that take us? Let's have a little look. We'll go from exactly where the moving averages are. 230% would take us up to the $2 area again. That would be very nice to see. I definitely would not be turning my nose up at those sort of XRP prices for the short to medium term. What else is there going on in the market? We wanted to have a look at the total market cap of cryptocurrency. There's some interesting things happening here because I did have a look at them just before. We are trying to reclaim that 200 day moving average on the total market cap which we look to be coming up towards. As I said the other day we did wick off this 1, th 1 trillion and 130 billion previous high over here that you can see on the left and we're looking to reclaim the 200 however if you look on the altcoin market cap i'm pretty sure we're looking to reclaim the 50 day yep we have used the 200 day as support and now we're looking up towards that 50 day to come back for that reclaim there so let's have a look at what the drop's been like from the very top just to rub salt in everyone's wounds so we've had a 60 percent drop on the altcoin market and the total market cap we have had a fifty five percent drop, so that obviously means that Bitcoin probably gained five percent dominance during this time. but guys, I've got to say for the first time in a while, I've started to feel a bit bullish on the market. That's because we are seeing quite large green signals across the board. I would like to see some breaking into the double digits um, positive. It makes me feel more bullish when those sort of things happen because we can see what the market is doing. I was going to touch on VE Chain. As you can see, VE Chain has done something similar to what the altcoin market cap did. Um, we wicked down low. We came up and then wicked down and touched the previous all-time high and then we bounced off there. In fact, that structure looks very similar to what the altcoin market cap is. It's the end of the month coming up, guys, so we are looking for monthly candle closes. Anything could be happening, um, these monthly closes. I feel like there's some kind of manipulation going on at the minute in the markets. I don't know what we'll be looking at uh, or where we want to be looking for at the end of the month. We've got today and tomorrow. If we can get a real good push out of Bitcoin, it would be insane to see the month end above this mark. Or even if we can see the month end below the... The body of that candle close there, which would be 37,000. I think that's highly possible. Uh, if we could see that, that also looks very, very bullish. As you can see, there's two long candle wicks at the bottom of these candles here on the monthly. And let's have a look on the weekly as well. Anytime you have long wicks at the bottom, that means that there is a lot of buying pressure there, which often means that the next week after that, if there is a confirmation, so if this, if this candle is heavily green, it would... I'll show you what I mean by this with the drawing. If we had this candle finishing like this, then it would indicate that this next candle would also be a green candle. So that's how I would be looking on the weekly. However, this is crypto and I haven't predicted anything like this for a little while because I don't like to do things like this. But 
I have this sneaking suspicion that we could see something like this. And if we saw something like that, I would be heavily bullish, of course. That would be a, what, 15% gain from here in two days. And I know that's a lot to ask for, 16%. But I would like to see that happen. Anyway, guys, obviously I would like to see it. But I also, I think there's a world where it does happen. And I wouldn't be surprised if it does. But we have not got much volume. If volume comes through today, though, and tomorrow, we could see that. Otherwise, it's another choppy one. And we just have to keep playing it as we do, day by day. There is obviously a lot of sell pressure here, but that seems to be starting to disappear. There is sell pressure on the 40,000. But if we can really get up and touch that, or maybe even break that with some volume, that would be awesome. I feel like I've rumbled on quite a lot in this video, guys, but... All I'm going to say is, keep your eyes on the charts for the next few days. Um, we could see something good. And yeah, peace out till next time, guys. Come on, England. Uh, I'll be watching that tonight. I'm excited and nervous to watch that game. Um, as always, guys, I've got loads of links in my bio, uh, in my description. Have a look into those if you need any help with cryptocurrency. And peace up, A-Town Down, as Usher would say.